Hello everybody and welcome back to Blast the Process. I got Berlin Dude here with Snow Bros. How you doing Berlin Dude? I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. All fine. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Um, you can go ahead and take it away, friend. Sure. I hope everybody's ready for that crazy game, so... If you want, we can start. Yeah, uh, I can count you down. Ready? Give me a second. Sure. To go on the... On the one player start. So you can start whenever you want. Alright, three, two, one, go! Thank you! Hello everybody in the chat. And now we have a funny game called Snow Brothers here. It's the winter bubble bubble. And um, <coughs> really fun to watch. Cool music. It's the Genesis port. Just to inform you guys. So that game never existed on the US market. Or um, the European market. Only the Japanese one. And we just can get here um, some kind of potions if you can see. And same system like Bubble Bubble. Um, if you don't kill everybody quickly enough, then somebody is picked popping in and say, I want to kill you. And he can be even invincible. The difference to Bubble Bubble is that we can take different potions. Red one is to make yourself fast. Blue one is to shoot um, big snow and yellow one is to make a big rage and every time when you lose a life of course you lose your power-ups so yeah to speed up here really that game you actually need at least the red one and the blue one and uh, now we have everything collected and hopefully we are not losing that until the end of the run so yeah you can see the same system a little bit like bubble bubble you are in that case, you are connecting enemies together by throwing um, snowboards, and then all is fine. You can bring them actually into the situation that um, you're actually faster in the snowboards than outside. The only bad thing about this game, when I can say there is something bad, is that when you're shooting too fast, because you can actually double mash, because you have two shooting buttons what you can use, when you are shooting too fast and throw a snowball at the same time, um, it could be that you get the thing called snow glitch. So your character is still shooting or making the shooting animation, but um, there is coming no um, snow out of your hand and you have to stop actually to shoot to start shooting snow again. Uh, it's really funny because you see the animation when he's throwing the snow, but you are not getting snow out and you just directly run into the enemy and die. <laughs> so that's called the snow glitch. Hopefully we don't see that here, but that can actually happen if you're too fast. So this game has 70 levels. Uh, the only game, <coughs> the only Snow Brothers game existent with 20 extra levels. The story is um, clear. You are a Snow Brother, you want to rescue your princesses. But uh, there is a difference. After 50 levels, actually, the Snow Brothers get um, what's it called? They get um, they get captured, and then you have to continue the last 20 levels as the princesses. So we are having a gender swap in the end, and play then as the princesses to finish the game. You will see that actually later. So it's yeah, the only port what has 20 extra levels. All the other Snow Brothers existent have only 50 levels and this is the only one with 70 levels where you, like I said, play actually the princesses. Yeah, and to continue in the next round, there are only there's only one way. You have to kill every enemy and uh, you have to collect all the things what they are dropping to continue to the next round. Um, 
Yeah, you can actually also farm extra lives, but uh, it's a little bit more difficult than in Bubble Bubble. We had actually there the snow glitch in that moment, so I had to stop, because if not I would have been losing my life. And um, yeah, every 10 rounds we have a boss. Um, they have really weird faces. They always throw something what you can make into a snowball. In this case is the bomb frog monster. He's looking really weird. It was looking really scary when I was playing it first time in the arcade. When I was 12. And he's throwing uh, bombs and this is actually the quick kill um, where you just put seven bombs into him and just kill him like that. And every, like I said, every 10 rounds you have another boss upcoming and when you're finishing the game in arcade with level 50 it's over and here's just continuing with an unskippable cutscene where you get explained what happens that you are rescuing the princesses and then you just, as Snow Brother, you get, just get captured and you have to rescue them as a princess. <coughs> so yeah, you will see definitely later the unskippable cutscene. And the funny part of this game is actually that from the cutscenes, um, if you're like finishing the game, you are actually in the beginning of the cutscene again. Like when you start the game, there is a cutscene coming up, and if you're finishing the game, you are actually in the same place like the first cutscene uh, when you started it, what we already skipped in the beginning. So we have the speedrun here, so we cannot even watch that. <coughs> You have a lot of weird faces in the background always, like it looks like the minions if you just watch that, even when the minions had not been existent in that time. But um, yeah, game is um, looking completely weird, but that is what the creator want creators wanted to. That they have like really weird background faces and all the stuff, you know. And again, you have to kill everybody, <coughs> every enemy, and collect all the items. Um, sometimes you will see, perhaps if you are not lucky, a shiny face. And the shiny face is actually the extra life room. So you can pick that up and then you just have like four blobs. Where you actually don't know which kind of letter they have behind them. And if you bring the name Snow together with these blobs, um, you get an extra life. But it's actually not saving time if you kill them all. Uh, so there are like two ways. You just let it shine or you just uh, collect it and then uh, try not to get killed because these blue blobs can actually kill you. This game has not so much RNG. We have two bosses. One of them are the birds. They can fly short, middle or long. So these guys have RNG. This is a short pattern, what is not so bad actually. And uh, like I said, they can fly really long, like you can see right now. Or really short. And that was not the bad pattern actually, but yeah, it could be better of, you, of course. <clears throat> and these birds can actually really lose a lot of time or save a lot of time, depends on which side you see. Um, so, you see it's a really fast paced game if you just don't lose your power ups and don't get the snow goods of course. And um, yeah, you wonder perhaps um, what is the biggest problem about this game. Like I said, there are so many small things what can really screw you up. Um, just one hit there and there and you start to be slow again. And when you're slow, you're like you have to wait until you get a red potion again or a blue potion. And the enemies, what are we are killing really fast right now? They're actually really difficult um, to get killed um, when you are slow. There are even these flying ninjas, what you just saw, these blue guys, and they are super super fast in the way when you are. You don't want to come down, guys? Ah, oh, there you are. Ah, yeah, yeah. So, now we have this situation, what I was mentioning. We have to be careful, and now we are super slow. And now we are losing time, and now we are losing lives. So we can still shoot, but, uh, yeah, these guys can really mess you up. They always come for you. 
Yeah, correctly. Especially when you're losing like right now, like I had uh, anything. So now we are slow. These guys are super fast. And um, it's super difficult to get a to avoid these guys and don't die. So yeah, <clears throat> now we are losing definitely a lot of time. And you can see how hard this game is actually if you don't have the power-ups again. And there's the red one luckily, so we have the power-ups again what we need, the blue one and the red one at least. So now we have again the power-ups what we looked for. So it's good that you saw how hard this game looks then when you're slow again. And here we have the uh, turquoise potion and the turquoise potion makes us invincible and just kill everybody on the screen. So really helpful in that room. But I hope that was the only death we had right now or the only death. It's really really difficult actually. And yeah, we are in the last uh, room before the trolls. The trolls are actually not so much RNG. <coughs> like, there is no RNG actually, most of the time, for the most of the guys. And these are the blue blobs, what I was just mentioning. Um, this is the extra life thing. And you just have the problem right now that... They are there, <coughs> and they come, and this is how it goes. Like, if you put then the names now together, you would have uh, an extra life. But hopefully, we don't need that. In any case, the trolls have a fast pattern, but it's only possible if you have, of course, the speed and the big snow. If not, uh, it will be impossible to get the quick kill. Quick kill looks actually kind of cool. But yeah, you need the speed, so you kill the one guy, and now you try to kill the other one. By always using the trolls while are coming down, and that is actually the quick kill. <coughs> so we are coming to the hyper music, like this music is bringing you a little bit into the situation. Hey, you're about to finish the game! And since this is an arcade port, um, you have the feeling like um, they didn't even work on different tracks. They just brought the track A and B and C to the other console. Like in that case, they brought it like just to everybody. And this music tries to hype you up for the end boss fight. And it's actually really cool to hear, so I hope you enjoy that. And we are again powered up with every potion what you can have, red, blue and yellow. So yeah, it's actually really bringing you into the situation that uh, the player knows, also in the arcade, the player just knows uh, he's about to finish the game and he's about to bring uh, the princesses to rescue them. And yeah, I definitely recommend people to listen to that song if they're in the bad mood because it always brings into the better mood <laughs> and play a little bit snow brothers in that case so we have different enemies as you can see these different enemies actually uh, these guys can fly from left to right and we have the um, the bats what can have like they have a really weird pattern to fly and we are coming close and level 50 is actually the stone faces and the stone faces are the second guys with um, with RNG. So there are actually only two bosses with big RNG and this is uh, the birds and the stone faces. And you see these guys can just fly, they are just want to try to kill you like that. And now we are just coming to the stone faces. <coughs> they can throw bubbles, fire, nothing, empty bubbles, or um, enemies in the bubbles. And what you want actually is that they are always giving us these blue enemies and not so much fire. 
and um, it always depends how many anim um, how many bubbles are on the screen that shows us like if there are too many bubbles on the screen you can actually see that they are not coming more from the top and you actually always want that there are a lot of enemies um, coming from the top and this fight is completely big RNG and can kill you quickly like you can see right now there are a lot of enemies. Okay, we killed one. Let's try to kill the other one right now. There's only one more. Ah, shoot him into the wrong. But it's a good pattern actually. We just need one more hit and then he's done. So I'll just wait here. And that was a really good pattern. A really good pattern for us. I know we had this unskippable cutscene, what I was mentioning, and we actually play now 20 more levels. Because normally the game would be done right now in arcade or in uh, the other ports, but now we play 20 more. And you see what happens. We play as the princess. Yeah, sorry for the audio actually. I try to enjoy the game and I try not to talk too much. I have some audio issues, it's because I have a... Oi, 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 oi. These guys are throwing Hadoukens to us. Really annoying actually. These birds. So, lost all the power-ups again. Funny part is also you get the power-ups from the snow brother and when you get this turkeys one you are flying as big princess and you get quickly the power-ups again in this game it's like really helping the last 20 floors are actually not so nice much easier than the first 50 Big girl. <laughs> so and again, uh, like I already mentioned, the double mashing helps a lot in this game because you can use actually two buttons to shoot because the Genesis controller has three buttons and they used it for like um, two buttons to shoot and one button to jump. So you can actually double mash what is kind of cool and makes definitely fun. Much more fun than the arcade one or playing with one button because you can actually really shoot fast and um, that makes the speedrun actually so enjoyable to watch. And when you're in the snowball you can you are actually invincible and you cannot be getting killed. And now we come to the three eye troll, really weird boss, super super bad programmed I would say, very easy to beat, it's really not difficult, it's always doing the same, even as a not speedrunner you would see what you have to do, and he's really fast killed, so you can see that they didn't put so much effort in this game, ending game in the last 20 floors to when you're comparing it to the other 20, uh, other 50 levels, it's definitely not the same power in that level. So we come to the last 10 stages, and then we are actually finishing the game up with the last boss, the crazy vampire kid. And we are right now in the spaceship, because we are in the spaceship, don't ask me why. And yeah, these floors and levels you see right now, even these enemies, what you saw, the birds and um, the ghosts, and here 
the bombs and the robots, they're actually not part of uh, every other game, uh, every other Snowbrush port. So only in this game you can actually play against these characters and also play with the princesses. In every other game you don't have these kind of enemies. And of course the music had been new designed so they had to make new tracks because 20 more floors, you know? And what is also very funny is to see the princesses and the Snow Brothers how they are like the feet and the, the hands, how they are looking like when, when they are just really fast. It looks definitely weird, but... <laughs> Another thing what you have to uh, understand is like when you are in the snowball that you are having invincible, like iframes. And then you can just jump out, wiggle wiggle, yeah. You can jump out of the iframes of the snowball and then you're just uh, invincible for some seconds so you can jump into the next enemies without a problem. Too much coffee, yeah kind of. Huh? And we are actually already in uh, the last floor before we are fighting the last boss. So these robots are really weird, normally um, enemies are running to you, but these robots are actually running away from you. And now we are fighting the last boss, the crazy vampire kid. I called him like that because it looks like, and uh, it looks like this guy has some toys, what he's doing, throwing at you. And that's why I think it's a kid. Um, and it looks like a vampire. And he's looking crazy, so that's why I call him Crazy Vampire Kid. Don't ask me how I was thinking about that name, but this is how it looks like. And um, yeah, the only thing is, like, he's always doing. Oh, yo, yo, he's doing always the same pattern I was just mentioning, but I was just um, doing it wrong. And now I will die again. No, I will not die. So, time is coming up in the moment when. He's like, he's getting flames right now. Uh, one more ball is coming and then the time will be coming up. Now. 22.01 in my eyes, so 22 flat, something. And the game is done. We rescued the Snow Brothers. And they are living happy together. Great job. Good job, Roland, dude. Thank Thanks you so, so much for showing that off. Thank you. And now you see actually the beginning of the cutscene what we skipped. That's how it started. And the story starts again if you want to start another game. <laughs> An infinite loop. Yeah. So sorry for the mic guys. I don't know where the echo comes from, but I hope you enjoyed Snow Brothers. Um, we are coming to the end of the marathon, so hopefully the last runs get some pushed from you enjoy i'm out for today and good luck with the rest of the runners it's fun to be part of bless the process 3 thanks right. everyone thank you so much for dude next up is sonic man finishing up with his last run as well we got fatal fury 2 coming right up see you in just a few moments